make cookie. <laughs> cookie? I'd say it's crawfish time. No, but close. Oyster time. It's oyster steaming time. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so we have our Texas Star Outdoors steamer. Nice. Boiler. Thank you, Texas Star Outdoors. This is the boiling basket, and that can be used for crawfish or shrimp or crabs or whatever you're looking to boil. Close up the drain. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll, cl I'll close it. Okay. You'll be cooking. What you got there? This is the steamer basket. I don't know, that's so awesome. We are going to put our oysters in. Ready to go. Easy as that. Cool. Our girl's gonna put some water in it. Steel garden hose water? Yeah. Water? Good idea. Yeah. Keep spraying it. That's a long hose. Imagine that we used to drink from hoses that sat in the hot sun. All the time. Had the boys at the seafood store wash them in their uh, tumbler. Yeah, yeah, they do. And when you cook oysters, it's a good thing to to uh, tap them and go through and just make sure none are open. And if they're open, you'll hear them. They're hollow. They sound hollow. Usually, you can hear them when you're moving them around. You find the dead ones. Yeah. I think I got them all out of here last night when we ate them raw. They're so good. Yummy. All right. Good time. Huh? Smells much better. Now, when you're uh, filling up your, your tank, you want to make sure it comes up about to here so that you don't melt your uh, aluminum when the gas is on. It's going to envelop that metal. I brought this tank to the store to have it switched out because it was empty. Uh -huh. uh, the guy went in the, the thing and pulled out a tank, handed it to me. I said, thank you. I mean, it felt kind of heavy to me. I don't know. <laughs> and I got it home and Exo Man went, was getting ready to, you know, pick up a heavy tank and went, ooh, wow. <laughs> I almost smacked myself in the face with that thing. And you told me the guy was in his 60s or 70s yeah. and he didn't know the difference between an empty and a, and a full propane, liquid propane. Yeah. Come on, people. Well, <laughs> neither did I. <laughs> All right, let's get this baby started. Need a lighter? Ready to get started? Yeah, let's see a flame. Are you hungry? Let's watch your hair. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Nope. Can't really see the flame. But you get the idea. You can hear it. We'll be eating oysters soon. So we're just getting a nice uh, flat pile of oysters. Isn't that wonderful how this is so, it's such a convenient and clean yeah. Yeah, way to do it. Quick. Quick, easy. Look, you're, you're well above your water line. You're going to generate a lot of steam. And these are salty... Uh, stump sound? Stump sound. Stump sound oysters. Nice singles. Beautiful. Really good. Two days in a row, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's the 
season. Nice shirt, Exo Man. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, this shirt, you and I were roasting coffee one yes. day. And I was thinking how I've always been an artist. Some people know I was a portrait artist for 30 years. I painted in oil portraits, commissioned. And I always like science too, like just the chemistry of art, uh -huh. the chemistry of colors and the oils that you use. There's there's a science to it. And the, in coffee, there's definitely a science to coffee roasting. But it's an art, it's a craft. So I thought of this, I came up with this t-shirt and it's where I live where art meets science, more or less, is what that means. Yeah, that's very cool. And I thought of the clever little line I get off here. Look at these knives. <laughs> this is Lee Brown's knife. Oh. Right? We don't. He left it here, so. I'm not gonna, that's not my preference. Somebody else gave us that. It's not my preference. Ew, Chinese crap. <laughs> oh. This is yeah. hand rendered from an old railroad spike. Yes, it's vintage. Get rid of those. <laughs> have some raw oysters while the roast is happening. I don't have a shop rack, but you want to talk about torque. Look at that. I went to a festival and the artist was there selling these knives. I thought, man, that's so cool. These, I hate it when, they, when the uh, shells are infested with worms and they weaken the shell right at the muscle. That's not preferable. And it splits in half sometimes. But you do what you gotta do. Take a little Tabasco. Give a little shot of that. Mm. That's all I need. Mmm. Mm. That's right along with our low carb diet. <laughs> Let me try another one, huh? I don't know if that one was just right. I'll try it for you. You want to try this one for me? Yeah. Well, if you're not eating crackers with it, you might taste a little grit. You know how crackers kind of hide the grit, huh? No grit allowed. Is that too big for you, farm girl? That's, that's the first time I've ever said that. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, you go ahead. All right. <laughs> One more shot of this. It's nice to have some raw before they all cook. Mm. Nice. I didn't hear any crunchies. <laughs> Very good. This little sea monster right here came out of the oyster. Usually we eat those, but he's not cooked. I ate one last night. You want this, pal? No, ew. Mmm. <laughs> this is very exciting. Did they release the muscle there? Probably. Yeah. Is it right. loose? <laughs> Did you change hats, Exo Man? I, yeah, I changed hats because this is a hat that the nice young man JD sent to me. Aw, he's so wonder, sweet. It's a little fancy for oyster roasting, but here. Very cool. How about that size for you? Uh, yeah, that looks good. Oh, wait, let me let me eat mine first. Mm. <laughs> My mouth is, uh, is getting nice and spicy from the Tabasco. Yeah. That's when you get the grit when you pour it. Would you go get me a shot of tequila? <laughs> mm. Of course I will. I'm gonna release that top muscle and then release it from the bottom. I don't like it when these guys send out a dozen oysters and they haven't even released the muscles. Yeah. Do it yourself for $30 a dozen. 
You want a little shot of Tabasco? Yes, <laughs> Down the gullet. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. I think we have some steam. Yeah? A little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, they're opening up. opening up already. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. A few more minutes. Right, Chloe? Huh? I'm gonna eat some of those. I bet you are. Cut yourself. Okay. Little crab. That is a nice roasted oyster. I eat it, Dad. <laughs> you can't have that, though. That's mommy size. Thank you. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Almost there. Or there. Mm, so good. You like them shriveled up? <laughs> either way. Never asked that either. <laughs> now everybody, uh, everybody likes them different. I kind of like them big that, and juicy yeah, like this. Yeah, that looks perfectly steamed. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it needs to be a little bit more dehydrated. Perfect. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Look at that liqueur. <laughs> you want the liqueur, Poe? Yeah, Dad. Too hot, huh? You can drink that when it cools down. Smell it. Hot. It's hot. No, no, no! Don't, don't tip it. Right. I better hold that for you till it gets cool. <laughs> I'll hold it till it gets cool. Yeah. Grab, grab one. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's steaming, huh? Yeah. Let's turn that off. You see that pop open? That one just popped open. That one. Which one? That one. It's pretty hot. Okay, let's turn that off. <laughs> it's gonna be steamy. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Very good. Very hot, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. Oh, let us feast. Ooh. Oh boy. Mm. Mm. Trying to get good luck. Can you see that little guy? Yeah. Yeah. They're good too. Mm. Oh, cute. Look, here's one. Good. See that one? Mm-hmm. That's uh they say it's good luck. I don't know who makes this crap up, but <laughs> they're good eating. Hey, if you think it's good luck, it's good luck. They're good eating, I'll tell you that. Yeah, they are pretty tasty. Mm. Okay, and that is how we roast oysters around here. Yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. Okay, bye, everybody. Mm -hmm. Happy oyster roasting.